welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. Gods and men. Four. Gods and mice. <laughs> mice and men. Hey, we're all here. <laughs> Nobody's uh, generic. Nope. Nope. All the generics got stoned. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, 420 plays it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eating snacks. But like, I was like, we can't get them to do anything. <laughs> God. As far as I can see, and Olki can hear, it seems we're the only ones left. Strange. I guess only the strongest of us didn't wind up as statues. Everyone who was in the building with us was safe too, but everyone else was petrified. I'm saying so is not strong. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, there are quite a few more of you flesh creatures left than I imagined. I, for some reason, my brain translated, like, just replace, like, Ponify, or whatever, Ponify, <laughs> replace flesh creatures with meat bags. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. That's good. Maybe that means we'll stand a chance against her. Micaiah, are you feeling all right? I'm actually genuinely concerned. <laughs> I'm not Micaiah. How many times do I have to tell you that? If you're not Micaiah, then who are you? I'm Yune. Pleased to meet you. Yune? What'd you do to Micaiah? Micaiah is here with me now. She knows that you'll never save me, save the petrified ones without me. So she let me use her body to talk to you. All right. Let me ask you this, Yune. If you don't have a body of your own, what the heck are you? I've been asleep beside the medallion for a long, long time. Longer than any of you can imagine. But the gladiator woke me up. Leon's medallion? Are you the dark god who's sealed inside it? Hmm. Dark god. Dark god. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not one of those. I am neither holy nor base, neither angel nor devil. I am freedom. Chaos. Transformation. Future. Mystery. I am Yune. I don't care what you're called. Was it you who turned everyone into stone? No, that wasn't me. I haven't done much of anything. I just woke up, so I don't have that kind of power just yet. That was Ashira's doing. It was her judgment upon this world. What a dick! Nonsense! Holy Ashira would never harm us. She protects us all times and guides us towards the right path. You've got it all wrong, little meatly. <laughs> yeah, there's close. There's close. <laughs> I share is neither kind nor loving to the beings of this world. Neither is she holy nor base, angel nor devil. She is restriction, order, stability, past, certainty, restraint. She is Ashura. It's almost like one of those like word memes. Like, say a whole bunch of these words so we can hear your accent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, just watch news because I have that Western accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't understand. Why would the goddess sure try to destroy us? If anyone's gonna kill us all, shouldn't it be you, the dark god who seals inside the medallion? You called me a dark god again. How would you like it if I called you a dark bag of organs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. What? <laughs> Instead, I'll talk to you. Yes, you're the one I'll talk to. Me? I sure has always hated me, but I like her. You've got some of her in you, so I'll talk to you. Oh, okay. So, you're Yune. That's right, I'm Yune. I sure is order, I am chaos. We are sisters, but opposite in all things. We're linked to another, though. When I sleep, I sure sleeps. When I wake, I sure awakes. Oh, then you're a, a goddess. I I'm so sorry. Please forgive my insolence. I've been talking down to you like you're a little kid. No, no, it's fine. Talk to me however you like. You don't have to stand on ceremony with me. Well, alright, if you insist. So you were sealed inside the medallion, but now you're inside Micaiah? That's right. And the goddess Ashura was the one who turned all the Bjork and Lagoos into stone. Oh, are you here to tell us how to save them? Wait, I get it. You're the one who spoke to me. You said, wake me with the gladiator release, not with the spirit of war. Yes, I did. I'm so glad you understood. You're so very clever. Of course, I was hoping by sending you that message, I would stop all this from happening. What do you mean? We're running out of time, so I'll explain quickly. Long, long ago, your ancestors made a promise to Ashura. <laughs> they promised they would start no wars among all the nations for at least 1,000 years. If this promise was broken, then Ashura would destroy the world and try again with a new one. 
Despite this promise, you bone cages kept fighting each other. <laughs> She's like, I you... love her like human words. The yes. Best. <laughs> Eventually, war and conflict spread throughout the world. When Ashura woke up, she cast down her judgment upon those who failed to keep a promise. I still don't understand. Why would it make a difference whether you were woken up by the god or the spirit of chaos? How are you planning to stop Ashura from passing down her judgment? I'm not talking to you. Oh, by all that's- Would you stop acting like a child? <laughs> Please forgive my brother, Yune. We want to save people who were turned to stone. We need you to tell us how. Did it matter that we woke you with the gladi- It did matter that we woke you with the gladder of release, right? First of all, you should understand that. Because of our link, waking me is the same as waking Ashura. Now, if Ashura had wakened by the spirit of chaos, none of us would be standing here right now. By the terms of the promise, she was just supposed to destroy the world. No hesitation, no discussion. But if she was wakened by the gladiator of release, she was supposed to consult with me first. She wasn't supposed to pass down her judgment until she heard from me. I sure went ahead and turned anyone to stone without asking me. That's so unfair. I'll show her though. I'll turn them back all turn them all back somehow. The problem is, is I can't do this by myself. I need your help. Will you help me? Of course we'll help. It's strange, but I trust you, Yune. And we all want to save the people who got turned into stone. Yeah, we'll do whatever it takes. That's right. We'll allow nothing to stand in our way. We will fight. It's all so confusing, but we must do everything in our power to save the people. To be honest, I spent my life teaching that the goddess Ashura watches over and protects us. This is all a little hard to accept. You don't have to believe me. You could just let her destroy the world. No, I'll do whatever it takes to save the people who were turned into stone. I will join the others in helping you. So what you're saying is that we all have to play nice and work together? Just forget about all that's happened? So, open your eyes and look around. There aren't that many people left to fix this mess. If you don't help, we can't do it. He just claps to the shoulder and so I was like, okay. <laughs> like, I'm on your team. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, how are things there in the world is something we could all agree on? You're right, Commander. All of this is the result of our war. I guess there's not much reason for flag waving on either side. First thing we have to do is unpetrify everyone. And, well, I, uh, I'm actually kind of relieved. At least I don't have to worry about fighting you anymore. I'm getting murdered. I wasn't looking forward to that matchup either. It's settled then. How should we begin? I know. Let's divide the army into three teams. I'm pretty sure that Ashura is going to notice what we're up to. Dividing us up is smart. It reduces the risk of everyone getting killed at once. We have to hurry. I can feel Ashura's power building. It's all over. We're going to turn to stone too. Alright everyone, it's up to us. What's your name? I'm Ike. Alright, Ike, you won't call me a dark god ever again, will you? Not if you don't like it. Can I call you your name? I would like that. I guess I forgive you then. Dark god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just sore, like, standing behind Ike. Dark god. <laughs> Shannon's like, hey, I'm with you on this one too, dark god. <laughs> Ike's like, come on guys, Could you let's not. not. And she's like, those are what you call dirt bags. <laughs> Ike's like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's like, Fun. <laughs> Gives some jester hats. <laughs> oh, I know. As a sign of my forgiveness, I'll make sure that you can get to your destination safely. I can't do it for everyone because it's a bit exhausting for me, but hold still and close your eyes. Finally! I'm ready! <laughs> I've been sitting on fucking Level speed 20. wings and shit to give you <laughs> once you can have them. What are you gonna get now? A batter? A bigger batter? Fucking shoulder guard? <laughs> actual, you know, like, um, sleeves. No. <laughs> sleeves are for weaklings. <laughs> and midriffs. <laughs> Side eyes, though. <laughs> he does get one sleeve, though. <laughs> yeah. His guard sleeve. Because fuck holding a shield. <laughs> God. Uh, so, do you have more speed than, like, everyone combined? It's because oh. it's full. Oh. What's in the hill? That's the... Oh. Yeah, which shall be... It's not like Ike really gives them a chance. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm having a hard time <laughs> figuring out which one I want to... Yay. 
<laughs> Give that a sword. <laughs> yeah, sure, you can have this. How do you feel? Strong, like I can take on anyone! Hey, so! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, no! <laughs> I, I didn't want it before, I don't want it now. <laughs> wow, you're very confident for being for a being that can die. Let's see, who'll go with this team? Thanks, Fort Nugget. <laughs> I'm going with you. I'm not leaving your Micaiah's side. Fine. Micaiah says it's what she wants, too. <laughs> yeah. Let me talk to her. Not right now. You have plenty of time to talk on the road, alright? Hey, you're with this team over here. Damn it. <laughs> hey, I want to talk. Now I get to decide on my teams. Awesome. Hey. Why'd they put Zerk and Meg on the same team? <laughs> because they really, really want to torment Zerk. <laughs> okay. Well, I am going to do this and we'll be back in a second. All right. See you guys soon. Each team will take a different route, but your destination is the same. It's the Tower of Guidance that stands in the middle of the land you named Benyon. Go there at once. I hope to see you all there. I'll be waiting. Waiting? Are you coming with us? She just teleports. I'll see you at the tower. I think she is. <laughs> oh, it was the bird. A bird? Yune, then she must be... Micaiah. <laughs> Micaiah! <laughs> I already yelled at <laughs> once. Oh, hello, So. You're back. I was so worried. Hey, the bird is your name. Where'd you go? To the fucking tower. <laughs> I don't know where exactly, but she said she must look for something. Leave us by ourselves? What are you thinking? At least we know what we have to do. Let's move out for the tower. May I have a moment before we leave? Prince Kurth has requested that I pass these out to the herons. Those are sending stones, right? Correct. Unfortunately for us, each heron has been assigned to a different team. For a reason. <laughs> Not by my <laughs> design, but whatever. King Tivarn, would you give the this one to Prince Bryson? That's ideal. We can each communicate with the other teams using the stones. Good idea. I'm full of them. <laughs> Queen Nala, please give this one to Prince Raphael. I will. And the last one is for Princess Leanne. She's on my team. I'll give it to her. Nina's like, good, I have to get back before <laughs> the EC <gasps> notices that we're gone. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt, you're coming with me! Yeah. They're like standing at the entrance of the caves and Dehingsi like comes barreling over and they're like, we didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we were just, uh, we, your caves are awesome. Yeah, we were just waiting. <laughs> we like the smell of cave air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're ready to go. See you at the tower. Yeah, see you at the tower. Hopefully. Everyone's like, come on, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> don't patronize him. Hey, you guys forgot me! <laughs> <laughs> Ike! <laughs> no, like, his like, sword was dragging on the ground in yeah, front of him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's plowing the land as he goes. Wow, this is going to be really fertile. Yeah. Since we're on different teams, I need to tell you something before we go. Something important. It's General Zelgius. Next time you see him, Ike, use caution. He's your enemy. What do you mean? He's the one. He's the Black Knight. What? Zelgius is the Black Knight. I became certain of it when we crossed the river. He can't be. I was going to tell. I wasn't going to tell you until I had proof, hard proof. But it looked like we we're out of time. Sorry, I didn't tell you before. Do you know Zelgius is the one who killed my father? I doubt that Zelgius has been turned to stone. Be careful, Ike. You may run into him. Good luck to you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Randall's it's like, I'm getting out of here now. Yeah, Ike's like, oh my fucking god, <laughs> get back here! He's like, punch a tree, <laughs> do push-ups. Yeah, I'll come sit on your back later. Yeah, <laughs> Zalgus, the Black Knight. <laughs> okay, Great. that was it. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> Asherah, the goddess of order, has awakened. Her righteous fury has turned nearly all of the warring soldiers to stone. You 
Yune, the goddess of chaos, has also awakened. Freed from Liran's medallion, she counsels Ike and his companions to split into three groups and make for the Tower of Guidance. Mikaya is joined by her constant companion, so General. She's like, he won't leave me alone ever. Along with Masala and Princess Leanne. Oh, that's a mashup. Masala rounds out the group, traveling with her chief bodyguard, Sigrun, and others. Mikaya's company decides on a southern route and sets out for Benyon. Save for the sounds of the local wildlife, their path is eerily silent and empty. It's as though they have stepped into a vast and desolate monument to the war. Well. <laughs> <laughs> God, that really was all the intro, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> yeah. How of course, this guy's still around. <laughs> I was hoping that he was his scumbagginess kept just, him like, alive. Just push him over and just watch the statue shatter. shatter. I know. I was kind of. It'd be a good way to get rid of a lot of people. Peleus is probably too weak to be awake or not be in stone. I don't remember actually. <laughs> yeah, he's such a minor character in my brain that I'm like, whatever. Yeah, fuck fuck you. Peleus. <laughs> I killed him the first time. <laughs> hey, I need you to kill me. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> stab, stab. <laughs> What? You can keep him alive? Oh, second playthrough. Okay, that makes sense. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but we will leave this till the next episode and catch you guys next time. Bye. Bye.